Tony Constantine is a senior manager at Chuni and Panicki. He supervises a group of accountants on the tax side of the company. Here at Chuni and Panicki, we have uh, two tracks, uh, two basic uh, specialties, uh, assurance services, which are basically auditors, and uh, tax services, which are, uh, we take the books after the auditors have done it and make some changes to make them compliant with the tax laws and then prepare the tax returns. So their clients do their own bookkeeping while the auditor checks those books to make sure everything is right. On a typical day, he says auditors spend most of their time out of the office at the client's location and computers are the main tool they use on a regular basis. We'll review documents and um, build spreadsheets and, and do analysis for if it's uh, a contract issue, if we have to, you know, estimate what damages are and uh, show our calculations, we'll give them a rep report and then on th from time to time we'll be deposed on that report and sometimes have to uh, pres appear in court to, to represent uh, our, our findings. Tony focuses on real estate and construction and recalls one client in particular who wanted to develop a medical office building. And he had the location picked out, uh, the design picked out, we walked through uh, the steps on how, how that would work. Let's set up a basic projection and said, okay, well, if you build this building in this way, it's going to cost you X. He spent four and a half hours in the office helping the client figure out where he would be financially with this project in the future. At the end of the day, uh, he walked out saying, Tony, I don't, I don't like you very much right now, but I love that you were here because you saved me a lot of money because you basically told me he couldn't do the building the way he wanted to do it and uh, we made some suggestions to help him in, in, improve the, uh, the way he approached the project. So that, to me, that was, that was pretty satisfying, knowing that, uh, you know, we're not saving the world, but knowing that that really made a big impact on uh, one of our clients. He says one of the most challenging parts of his job is balancing multiple projects at once. There's a reason why there's manager in the title, because um, you have to, have to manage, manage people, manage projects, manage clients' expectations. Um, and sometimes the expectations aren't always clear, so, and having to manage uh, the expectations of maybe 10 clients at once. Tony says there is a lot of opportunity for advancement if you are willing to work hard, and that students can begin preparing while they are in middle school and high school. And even though math is a big part of accounting, it's not the only area he recommends focusing in. I never took an accounting class once in high school, so some people go that track, and there's, I'm sure, nothing wrong with that. But I say get the, the most wide variety of experience you can get. Um, take on leadership positions, uh, outside activities, um, learn from an early age how to balance multiple priorities and multiple activities. He says these opportunities will help you relate to people on a different level and give you experiences to draw from. He says to get to where he is, you have to go through college and accounting programs. You can go through a, and get a two-year degree and end up, uh, end up being uh, yeah, on the bookkeeping side, uh, but to be an auditor, you've got to have that four-year degree. You have to have a, a, a license, You'd be licensed through the state of Ohio, your CPA license. Okay. So in order to get your license, you have to be working in, in uh, a CPA firm uh, doing the work for two years under the supervision of someone else before the, the state of Ohio will, will give you that license. According to the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, an auditor makes on average $73,670 a year, while a financial manager's median salary is $109,740. Tony says working in accounting is a great way to get a wide range of experiences in business. You have a good springboard. If you wanted to go and stay in public accounting, you could do that. There's definitely a career opportunity, career path there. You could also go work for a company. You can also start your own company and have that knowledge uh, of how a business should operate and carry that through to your own business. And it's really, uh, it's kind of a neat opportunity and a, a, great, uh, a great launch pad for any, any career.